Hi there, my name's Amy Howes and I'm a ranger for Forestry England. I work here in the New Forest and I'm joined here today um, by Lee Knight, who's one of our keepers. Hi there. Yep, my name's Lee Knight. I'm a New Forest keeper for Forestry England. Part of my job in the New Forest is to look after the wildlife and to manage and maintain the wildlife habitats. So today we wanted to talk about why the New Forest is so special um, and about some of its rarest wildlife and that includes our ground nesting birds. Um, I'm first going to start um, just by asking Lee a couple of questions. Um, so first of all Lee, could you explain why the New Forest is such a special place for birds? Yeah sure, uh, the New Forest is an absolutely incredible place for a, a, a multiple variety of species of birds. Um, it's actually designated as an SPA, which uh, stands for Specially Protected Area. Um, and this is specifically for the birds that, that live here. Um, we get a lot of winter visitors as well as a, a really good variety nesting here in the summer as well. Um, can we actually explain a little bit by what we mean by ground nesting birds? I know it seems probably a, a bit simple, but um, it's quite unusual all the same. Yeah, absolutely. Um, ground nesting bird is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a bird that nests on the ground. Um, we have many rare and wonderful species in the new forest. Uh, we have night jars, woodlarks, warblers, waders such as snipe, woodcock, lapwing and curlew. Um, in the UK, uh, we have 25% of the world's population of curlew. Um, the new forest is actually the best stronghold in southern England for curlew. Could you um, tell me a little bit about your favourite bird? Um, I know mine's a lapwing. I like lapwings because they're quite a showy bird and I quite like their feathers. Yeah, I, I think I have to, I'd have to go with a woodcock as my very favourite bird, uh, but closely followed by curlew, another you know, bird in the, in the wader family. It's our largest UK wader uh, and it's, it's red listed, what's classed as red listed now. They're in real decline um, they're in you know quite quite a lot of trouble in the UK that the numbers are really dropping low um, last year and the year before I was very privileged to watch uh, a pair of curly successfully nest and hatch and fledge a chick um, it was quite incredible really to watch them from you know egg laying stage right the way through summer they sit on the eggs for 30 days so it's quite a long incubation period uh, four chicks hatched both times but only one actually survived and I watched those chicks as they you know over the summer a few weeks as, as they were growing up to fledging dicing with death with predators um, on the main roads and it was it was a real pleasure to see them fly off into the sunset. So what's being done at the moment to protect these birds? Okay well basically there's there is a lot of work going on behind the scenes um, research uh, uh, etc but we can all do our bit we know that um, part of the declines is the disturbance problem from from people um, coming and visiting the forest uh, throughout spring and summer so we've created a few quiet zones on the forest and I'm hoping you're going to tell us a bit about those zones and the signs we're going to use this year Amy. Yeah thanks Lee um, there's some really important things that we can all do to help um, one of the first things to point out is it really is disturbance. Um, so that's obviously causing um, the birds to fly off the nest and that's leaving them exposed um, to predators getting either the chicks or, or the eggs. Um, so when you're out and about in the new forest, you might see some signs. Um, so one of the first signs that you might see is an orange sign. So that lets you know that you're near a, a ground nesting bird area and we ask that you stay on the main tracks um, and don't cut corners across the heathland and if you've got a dog we ask that you keep it on the track with you um, and if that's not possible that we ask that you use a lead. Uh, the other sign that you might come across is a red sign so if you see a red sign we're asking you to stop and choose an alternative route because you're really close to a nesting site. The other thing that we can all do um, to help is talk to other people about it um, and explain why the new forest is so special. Uh, talk to them about this video and some of the things that we've um, discussed today. 
Um, so I'd just like to sort of recap on those points. So it's it stay on the main tracks during the ground nesting bird season. So that's from March right the way through till July. If you've got a dog, keep it close. If you see a red sign, please choose an alternative route. And again, please tell people about this campaign. Thanks very much for listening today. And if you've got any comments or questions, uh, please pop them in the box below and we'd be happy to answer them at another time. Thank you. Bye.